What's up everyone, Prabir here with another Question Your World and today we are asking a very important question. How much food are we wasting? Okay, so first of all, there are 7.4 billion people living on Earth, so it makes perfect sense that the food industry has impacted nearly every corner of the globe. But with that said, a series of recent surveys has brought up some alarming numbers about the amount of wasted food here on Earth. A third of all the food produced on Earth every single year ends up being wasted. Scientists are taking three things into account for these numbers. Number one, production inefficiencies. Number two, consumer wastes. And number three, overall overconsumption. So how much does all of this actually end up being? Quite a bit. It turns out to be almost two billion tons worth of wasted food every year, equaling about a trillion dollars worth of wasted edible items. Now, over 75% of this is due to livestock production. After all, consider the fact that we need crops to feed the livestock, and in turn, they don't get used 100% either. So this creates a lot of waste. So it actually ends up to be a pretty huge amount. In fact, if all of this food were combined and acted as a country, it would be the third largest emitter of climate change causing heat trapping gases behind the United States and China. So what does all this food look like? We could easily fill the Roman Colosseum over 5,000 times from top to bottom with a year's worth of Earth's wasted food. But let's put this to a local context. To hold a year's worth of wasted edible items, we would need a pile of food about three stories high and occupying nearly all of Richmond, Virginia. So what can we do about this? Now keep in mind that ultimately all of us working together and individually can tackle these gigantic issues. Scientists are suggesting three ways for us to approach this. Number one, reduce livestock-based products. Less meat, less dairy, you know, wastes fewer crops and reduces water waste in the process as well. Number two, composting. Turn your wasted items into nutrient-rich goodness for your backyard garden or local farms. Reuse your waste, folks. Number three, reduce consumption. Reducing consumption could reduce a lot of our waste and in turn might also reduce your waistline. Anyway, so there you go, some problems, some potential solutions, and definitely something worth chewing on. Check back for more science news later. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, folks, question your world.